Hey Turtle fans, it's Roberto here doing another unboxing and uh, this time I have a couple offerings from the uh, the Target Summer Geek Out and I guess this was, uh, these originally were released during the NECA Holothon. There's so many uh, buzzwords for, <laughs> for these exploitations of nerds money, but uh, the Summer Geek Out is what's going on now and I think it's all um, for several weeks over the summer. They just uh, just keep blasting you with uh, more toy releases and re-releases, and I was uh, I I guess lucky enough um, because <laughs> I hadn't even seen these figures uh, before. Had kind of fell out of the turtle game for a little while, and um, was just perusing Target on Father's Day, and I was like, oh my god, this wasn't even all the stuff they that was there. This was what I uh, what I decided on. There was um, like the uh, the Bebop and Rocksteady, uh, the gang members, and there was some single figs and all kinds of stuff. But um, these were what I picked up, and uh, I thought they they looked pretty cool. I kind of remembered the Bugman episode, and even and even the Mona Lisa. So I was like, that's cool. Um, my uh, my daughter has been really into uh, turtles out of nowhere. I haven't been enforcing it on her to be honest. She just kind of seen that Rise of the Ninja Turtles uh, cartoon and. Got more interested, so we showing her some of the older ones, and uh, so you know uh, I'm I'm feeding into it. I enjoy it. Uh, I'm only gonna unbox uh, one of the Holothon boxes today, or was it the NECA Geek Out? This Bugman and it was Electro Zapper, which I thought looked really cool. Um, the other one I picked up was uh, Dirk Savage and Mona Lisa, so I'll unbox that one shortly. But um, for now, just gonna do this one because I. I um did sort of uh, recall this one, and afterwards I I looked online and remember, and I was like, where where have I seen this one recently? Like the Bugman, why is it uh more in my my mind than than the others? And it's because um there was like some cool little Easter eggs packed in with uh, one of the earlier releases of the Turtles that I had, so that's pretty cool. But anyway, this uh this release looks pretty awesome. Uh. Like we're at a point with the, in the NECA line where we're getting stuff that we never seen before um, in toy form, so that's pretty awesome. I wonder how long they'll push the animated line for, um, but because they're doing the Mirage Turtles as well, and those are ones I do want to pick up. I have the earlier NECA Mirage Turtles, but they they got some uh, newer ones that were from like the All Out War storyline, um, and I and I definitely want to pick that up. So, anyways, this looks cool. You got Bugman on one side. What's his name? Electro Zapper on the other. This guy's got a dopey football head. It's kind of kind of fun. Um, the artwork on the front is uh, kind of neat. And they definitely have like that later season look to them. Uh, just in general, I think the animation just changed just a little bit more, uh, in my opinion, anyway. When uh, this as the cedar, as the seasons went on, but. Um, you don't really get a bio for them. You get uh, Bugman and Electro Zapper on the back. You get a, a, a couple pictures and a couple other figures. So yeah, those were the gang members that I had seen at the uh, at the store. I haven't seen the big robot too, but the box was pretty banged up. So um, and I was sure he was a premium fig. So I was like, I'd rather get two as opposed to just the one um, for the same price. So, anyways, uh, after being accidentally exposed to radioactive ooze. Four ordinary household pets are transformed into, uh, what is it, band of wisecracking, pizza-loving, villain, villain dice, and adolescent reptiles. So, okay, so this is just the Ninja Turtle bio. There's nothing about them on the back, which I didn't think so. I think I had looked at that already. But anyways, let's see what's in the box and uh, find out if these guys are good or not. Um, they look pretty cool. They look. It looks like a fun release. Um... I, I always like that about like the even the original Playmates line with uh, just the obscure wacky characters that you get in the Ninja Turtles universe it's just kind of gross and and weird and fun so um, let's see what we can get here it's got a it looks like the entrance to the sewers is a backdrop so that's cool um, put that to the side and this is uh looks absolutely packed with uh with stuff um definitely like the look of that 
We'll start with the hero, uh, Bugman, who I believe uh, was Michelangelo's hero. I just uh, remember um, he had he had a comic of him, and the uh, one of the uh, one of the packs uh, came with comics of B the Bugman comic, <laughs> which I thought was one of the as a as a a nutty uh, comic fanboy myself. Like I thought that was one of the more fun accessories that he came. With a couple of, of uh, six inch issues of of Bugman, and even there you could see the Electro Zapper, so that's that's a lot of fun. Um, and anyways, let's get them out, see uh, see how they're doing. I haven't uh, I haven't been collecting. I have a stockpile of NECA figures that I haven't uh, that I haven't opened just because I. Like I said, I like to open the uh, toys that I'm in the mood for. And recently, it's been a lot of GI Joes, um, but with uh, with my daughter just starting to get into Ninja Turtles, it's been fun just showing her some stuff. And uh, like we, I picked up that um, I literally just picked up over for Father's Day the the video the newer video game was it the uh, the Revenge of Shredder. And uh, I, was, I thought that was awesome. I had played a little bit of it with my brother-in-law, um, probably when it came out, but I really didn't think anything of it. But um, just playing it with my daughter it was so much fun. Um, and she's four, and everything's awesome to her. Anyway, look at this guy. He is terrifying. <laughs> look at that face. Look at you know, the pincers or the fangs that he's got, and uh, that, and just the uh, antenna and everything. He's he's all kinds of bug man. He's not just an ant he's got he's got like a stinger it's like i know like a scorpion tail he is a, a pretty crazy bug man this is really giving me some sectars uh vibes i wonder if uh if they borrowed from sectars at the time or they were just like you know we're just gonna make a disgusting mutant bug um his arms feeling a little bit um they're not moving that much i'm not gonna they're double jointed for sure, but they are not. I'm gonna heat him up. I'm not breaking that. That I've uh, I played with too many NECA to fall for for any of that uh, QC. But does the uh, does the stinger have any articulation? This is so this is so weird. Uh, does it spin? It feels like it does. I'm, just, I'm moving it slow just because. Um, Okay, so that's pretty cool. Uh, can it, does it do anything else? I don't know where even the articulation, it looks like it's turning at the top here. I feel like that's the only point. There's one cut that where you can turn the tail of the stinger. That's pretty cool. Um, he's got, he's got like these pincers coming out of his shoulder. It's like a beetle. He's got, he's got like he's got like fly wings or bee wings. Scorpion stinger. <laughs> like a spider face. He doesn't have the uh, the hive eyes. He just has terrifying eyes. This guy is uh, he's he's a sight. Um, but yeah, let me stop messing around with that that supposedly double jointed elbow because it's not going anywhere. What about his legs? Uh, a little bit. Yeah, this this guy's gonna need a little heat. Um, see, he's kind of got like a oh, he's got an ab crunch, a little bit one of one, so that's pretty cool. Um, his head feels like it's on a ball joint, and there's also like his neck is on a peg, it's moving, so that's. Uh, pretty neat. I, um, this is one of one of these figures. Like Neca sculpts are always they're always great. I can't knock Neca sculpts. It's QC, you know. That's that's another story. But um, in hand, it like they always they're always impressive as long as you don't break them when you're playing with them. Uh, you know that's another thing. But even without being able to move them, he looks kind of awesome just with the with the fist clenched. Uh, he looks like he's gonna do some business. <laughs> it's gonna do some work and uh bug man yeah 
uh, Mikey is probably really impressed that he gets to hang out with Bugman. And uh, he's he's bigger. He's definitely bigger than um, than Michelangelo. So very cool. I'm liking the look of Bugman. Now, can he stand? Oh, he seems to be able to stand. I feel like just got a he's got a pretty uh, wide base here and kind of messed around with them a little bit, but. With that tail, I didn't think he'd be able to stand at all, but it looks like he's uh, he's doing his thing. Um, and looks like he comes with a couple sets of hands. I'm guessing they're all his because they're all flesh colored. Um, as you can see here, I don't know what he's holding, but let's get a look. But yeah. Um, just just uh, enjoying the turtles on my own and, and then seeing them through uh, my young daughter's eyes it's uh, it's really really been something fun that I can't even describe um, it's it's just great so we have hand holding hands a couple of those for some non-existent accessories for him it appears but and we got some some guns but you know um i've got plenty of neca accessories i'm sure you can jam something in this hand if you really want it's not going to be that big a deal um i'm not even going to try and pull them out because uh, i like the way the fist looks and since it doesn't look like he's got anything to hold anyway um it's fine by me uh so is there anything else i'm missing on him it looks like it's got like a line going through his hair on both sides. It's like kind of like a like a bald spot where the maybe where the um, the insect stuff's growing. But man, this guy's that face you can't get over how terrifying it is. It's it's the it's the red eyes with the the beady eye in the center. It's just uh, <laughs> that's it's great. <laughs> that's what this is. It's like what I love Ninja Turtles. Like the Ninja Turtles are awesome because they're mutant turtles, but like everything else in the world, other than like the Shredder and and the ninjas, are just disgusting. So like it's uh, as a as like a a horror fan and stuff like that. Just it's it warms my heart. <laughs> it's it's great that that dude was made with some uh, with some care and somebody really wanted to. Just make them make them gross, and I just think back of to those the boxes of the um, the original turtle toys. They always had like disgusting artwork around the side, which uh, to me as a kid was just so much fun. I remember just looking at the box art over and over again, just just uh, always mesmerized by those. Uh, Where's the playmates? Those playmates. Um, I don't remember the name of the company. They're still around. But um, anyway, if you remember the name of the company, please let me know because my, my brain's not working. I know a quick Google search, a search will will uh, will help me out. Or one of the, I know I have some of the other uh, releases somewhere still on cards. So. Um, but anyways, oh wow, this guy comes with some soft goods. That's, uh, that's not normal for... My NECA releases, not all of them, especially the Turtles line, come with soft goods. He's got a, uh, he's got a cape. It's not anything too fancy. Just, uh, just looks like a piece of um, cloth, and they did a little something tying it around his neck. The electro zapper. He's just got like a battery on his chest. That's that's pretty fun. Um, oh man. He's got some, uh, he's got some knuckle dusters on. Look at this. He's definitely going to give somebody the business. Um, he's got some batteries around his waist. That's pretty fun. He, he's definitely a, uh, a cool looking super villain. Uh, he's got his dopey football head. That's the only thing I don't know. See him in see him in the box. I was like, yeah, that, he's not my favorite of the two when it comes to the head sculpt. But everything else about him is is looking uh, 
is looking pretty awesome. I, I really like those uh, those gloves. And he's, he just looks like a four-color uh, character, which is really fun to me. So he's got to get some kind of big feet going on here. <laughs> some yellow, yellow, red, and uh, gray. Um, <laughs> his his antenna lightning bolt. Oh, that's interesting. I didn't really think that. It's a, a hard plastic. I thought it would be a little more rubbery, but that's hard. Um, he's got double jointed elbows. Uh, I don't think he does. Oh, yeah, he does. It's actually just hidden by the by the glove. But just like one of these elbows seems all right. I don't know about the other one. Eh, they're definitely definitely a bit freer than um, Bugman. He's kind of got like it's interesting. His chest has um it's a suit like a plastic suit it's not just a molded skin so it's like a rubber suit on, on top of the um the plastic character for the chest piece anyway so i don't know if he's got any articulation under there but it's kind of hard to get at it with uh with the suit but you know he's <laughs> he's looking pretty cool kind of reminds me of that teen titans uh villain who was just the the nerd the comic book nerd but uh i forget what his name was uh remote control or something like that i don't remember but uh but anyways i i do like the look of him oh man he's even got he's even got batteries on his on his arms he's ready to <laughs> he's ready to charge some stuff so um cool i wonder if he stands at all uh, a little bit yeah, that wasn't too bad. Um, let's see. What else is in the package? Lots. He's got a bit more than hands, but he does have a lot of hands. Uh, he's got a whole arsenal of, of hands. Uh, six more. And he has some effects, which all look uh, pretty rad. I like that. And an alt head, too. So, um, good on this guy. All, all of the... Uh, all the money for all heads were uh, divvied up on somebody really liked the, uh, the Electro Zapper. I would have thought, uh, he's got the angry head, which is this is cool, but I would have thought they would have given the Bugman, who seems who I would think would have been the main character, perhaps a human face or something. But, hey, I don't know. You know, I'm not making the figures. Just an observation. Um, and there's his angry face, which is... His normal face, he's just got kind of like a silly, a silly smile. Um, let me see, how how easy is it to pop? There we go, it came off. Always a little suspect with my NECA, so. Let's see. Don't want to break it. Oh, yeah, see, it's already, it's not broken, but. I don't want to fight anything from NECA too hard. Just because you'll never know what you break. But yeah, look at that, uh, the angry face. I like that one. So that's cool. Um, I'm always, I always like the expressive faces. They'd be in a, a evil smile or just something angry face or yells. I, uh, I always like that a bit more than the static faces. That's just me. I know I'm in the minority with that. I know most people like to keep the the docile faces are the faces that aren't overly expressive when they're displaying but not me i like the ones with the beat up faces and whatnot screaming anything that's a little bit different kind of fun um cool so this is like lightning blast or lightning sword of some sort and it looks like Looks like it's molded where it pegs into the fist. Wonder if it does it to any any of the fist. Or if there's certain oh yeah, this one has a hole. Right there. Very cool. I like that. I don't think I've ever seen that before. Um, oh yeah, 
and then the evil the evil face Bugman's here to stop you know to save the day and he's getting zapped electro zapper is uh it's much smaller so definitely <laughs> definitely nerd <laughs> uh but that that effect was cool i wonder if they all have that same gimmick um not bad this one looks like there might be another another hand for it so let's take a look man there's a lot of effects and a lot of hands so um very cool i am very pleased i uh, picked up i went for what i thought would be not only coolest um but uh a bit more obscure you never know sometimes these guys would just sit on the pegs forever um but uh i i think i had seen the um the gang members sitting at that target for at least one other time so um i i don't know that's the way it goes but it's the way of displaying it right now but oh okay the open hands look like that's kind of cool too so he's got some open hands but i went with what i thought might disappear and i never see again this the ones that i bought so i'm hoping that i can pick up the gang members a little bit later um let the funds refill a little bit pick them up grab these guys because i had never even seen them on before at all so i thought that was pretty cool um nope so looks like there's no holes there oh but is it he's got like buzzers on his i don't know <laughs> there's a lot to a lot to look at what is that or does it does it come out come out of there that's pretty cool uh, is there any hint on the box as to what I'm supposed to do with this? Oh, no, there's a finger pointer too. Oh, I see. So here I was just trying to plug it in there. So maybe you can, I guess. That's pretty cool. Um, the open hand. So this one. Looks like... What else is in here? There's lots of stuff. Lots of stuff to play with. Which I always appreciate appreciate about these deck two packs. Oh uh, uh, this there's like a like a grenade ball effect. And I think there is a pointy finger, which I'm going to guess is what we're using it on. But wow, this guy's a lot of fun. Um feel like I'm missing stuff still and that looks like I am but let's pop this in real quick and these uh these hands are swapping out a uh, uh, pretty nice so they got somebody did a good job so okay that that's really cool and they're doing stuff with this figure that I've never seen before like for the most part with um all of the uh, effects that I've played with from before um, They're always How you say uh, Kind of like a rubber and just kind of wrap around the hands Lightly so wow this guy's cool <laughs> This this dopey football head just brings you he's like yeah, he's in the Ninja Turtle universe All right, but everything else is it, like, like that looks just just so much fun um now this guy is going to be a challenge. Uh, I might have to just hide him because he, these NECA toys, you know, it's just it's NECA. I'm always afraid they're going to break. And a lot of these parts feel like, like this does not feel like uh, my four-year-old can go nuts with it. Like some of the other uh, stuff that we play with. So, but it looks awesome. So, um, it's definitely going to go on my shelf at the very least. Now, he also... What does this do? Oh, there's a plug here. So, guessing this finger is getting a lot of a lot of work. <laughs> That's so cool, man! Like, wow. No matter which way you put it, it, it could be doing something. So, that's uh, that's really cool. Just leave it on the finger for now. And what else do we got? We have. Fist, 
No, these are holding holding thing hands. And another another pointer. What are you? <laughs> it's got another bubble. And <laughs> it's gotta be some sort of story to the to this blue rock. I'm gonna have to watch the episode again. <laughs> I, I, I know I haven't seen that one since I was a kid, or if I binge watched it, it was just in the background. Oh, I thought this was a solid rock, but it must be uh, must be a kryptonite chain or something. Um, I don't know if it's uh, if it's for uh, Bugman. It's hurt him, but you know he's. He's looking pretty bad. You just ba just with the just the chain looks. I don't know if it's a glow in the dark chain or not, but uh, Bugman might be able to hold this, or they might be able to do a a tug of war. Which um, yeah, um, I'm really digging it, and I'm really digging that he just reminds me straight up of like the Sectars. He's just missing a a giant, gross, fuzzy uh, spider or a fly mount of some sort. Um, that would, that would be really cool. So let's see, but yeah, let me just pop this on his finger again and out a little, a little spiky, but this, uh, <laughs> this was a lot of fun. Um, NECA figures are, are like the, uh, the Ninja Turtles at the very least are a lot of fun, but man. I was I was really thrown off at how many the new figures were out. Like not just with the Ninja Turtles at my uh, target, they had more Predators than I'd ever seen in my life. Like there was like three uh, shelves of them, and none of the boxes looked the same. So I was like, I I have a lot of Predators, and I hadn't been picking up NECA stuff in a while. Um, this is you know you collect so much, it's just it's expensive. But anyways, um, this is awesome. I. Uh, I'm really, uh, I'm really enjoying this release. I'm gonna have to go heat him up so I can have a little bit more fun with him. But this guy was uh, Electro. <laughs> What's his name again? It's I keep forgetting. Uh, it doesn't roll off the tongue. Uh, Electro Zapper. It's just uh, fun right out of the box, and um, I am, uh, I'm thinking he is the winner of, of the pack. But I really, I like this bug man. It's cool. Um, you know, like <laughs> the. Uh, um, the fly, like the 80s fly, probably what inspired this character too, which is wild because that movie is incredibly gross and just disturbing. But, um, yeah, that's where we were in the 80s. <laughs> like, sure, why not? Let, let's make a, uh, let's make a kid's cartoon character based off of something that they shouldn't be watching, but probably did back then. Anyways, um, Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, leave a comment. Uh, let's see. Let's see how much how big the zapper is next to one of the turtles. So he's definitely taller than Mikey, who is just enjoying the watching the fight, eating some pizza, and reading his comments at the same time. So, um, but uh, yeah, I am I am super uh, pleased I picked this guy up or this two this two pack up, and um, I'm gonna have a, a little bit of fun with him. But man, like I keep noticing little things. Uh, <laughs> There's just the cutouts in the back of um, his shirt where there's like a little flesh color. That's that's just cool. Like the attention to the detail was really good. So um, they didn't have to go that far, but they did. And I appreciate it. So thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.